Since the Second Temple Period and New Testament era, the Mount of Olives is a prime real estate to be buried. In Judaism, when the resurrection takes place, the first to be raised will ascend from this famous mount. The rest of Jewish souls of the world will roll underground to the Mount of Olives. It is called Gilgul Neshamot. Tombs from that period abound on the hills surrounding Jerusalem, and my old stomping ground in East Talpiot is no exception. People conduct their daily lives, care for their kids, and buy groceries, but most are unaware of what antiquities lie just beneath them. For example, from as far away as Bethlehem, King Herod built pools and a complex system to bring water to the Jewish temple. This engineering marvel had a subtle gravitational gradient over several kilometers. The remnants of the piping and aqueduct are still visible and accessible in East Talpio by Seligsburg High School. By the famous UN building from the British Mandate period, the aqueduct's air vent rise up to give access to what is down below, belying the 2,000-year-old history of those who built them. Not far from the aqueduct system, two tombs were discovered when the neighborhood was being built in the early 1980s. One of the tombs caused a sensation because it was intact with bone boxes bearing the names of Miriamne, Yeshua, and Joseph. Back in 2007, Simcha Jakobovici and James Cameron tried to launch the theory that this was Jesus' tomb. We had reported on it ourselves, actually, and met up with CNN correspondent Ben Wiederman while checking it out. The bone boxes, or ossuaries as they are called, are displayed at the Israel Museum. Generally, they are thought to be common names from that era. What is just as interesting, though, is that a second adjacent tomb still has human remains in situ under the flooring of the neighbor's house. Just over the hill at the Haas Promenade is a glorious view of Jerusalem and the Mount of Olives. Caiaphas, the high priest who tried Jesus, had a house nearby. It is an authentic site with an underground pit acknowledged as the place where Jesus had been tried. Most certainly he trod these ancient steps on his last hours before the cross. From there and just below is the Peace Forest where a major discovery was made. The connection here is that Caiaphas's family tomb and bone box were discovered in this peace forest. These green soul tubes, as they are called, at the family tomb show that there are still human remains in the cavern underneath. The tubes give an outlet for those Jewish souls to roll to the Mount of Olives in the last day. In summary, the Jewish elite covered this proximal territory for their family graves so that they could be the first fruits of the resurrection. And when Jesus departed this earth from the Mount of Olives, the angels testified that he would return in exactly the same way and at the same place. <laughs>